All right. So as I embark upon this new adventure of handgunning, uh, I obviously got my firearm that I intend to use as my primary hunting weapon for handgun hunting. What I didn't have is a way to carry it. So I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked, trying, trying to find an appropriate holster for my, uh, my 460XVR, and I was not able to. Uh, they had a few holsters out there for the standard 460XVR, but nothing out there for the Performance Center model. And uh, they're different enough uh, in their shape that a standard uh, 460 holster would not work for this firearm. So, I was either going to have to send my gun off and have one made, or make it myself. And uh, with only a couple of weeks till hunting season, and I'm not wanting to send my gun off anywhere, uh, I decided to make it myself. So a friend of mine, Scott, uh, had some extra leather. I went to over to Tandy Leather and got the tools and uh, materials that I needed to uh, get her done. And here she is. It took me about three days to do it. Not all day, but uh, three days. So there she is. I got it stamped with little feathers all the way down the length because the gun's name is Phoenix. And I thought it would be appropriate. I also have a little feather, feather ends there, and feathers there on the buckle. So this is a uh, chest holster, and this is the first holster I made, so I did not video the whole making process. Maybe I will in a few, another one, but uh, <laughs> there was a lot of trial and error. So I figured uh, I would take pictures of the entire build. Well, that's it. So I can walk with this comfortably. It's adjustable for, uh, you know, if I'm wearing one of my larger coats out in the field. And uh, I put it on and off quickly. Draw. Hold through the weapon equipment quickly. So it's uh still needs to be sealed. Other than that, she's done. She's just about done. Uh, so I'm gonna I'll have the the uh, build or the yeah the build uh, pictures to follow uh, this video. Check them out and uh, here we go. We're just about ready to start this. <laughs> so here I uh, started out tracing out the gun. Uh, then I cut off the top slit so I would have uh, access to the firearm. Wet on the leather here and did the initial wet forming and hole punching there. And then this uh, was a reinforcement plate for the beginning. Then I stamped it. Uh, with little feathers all the way around. Got the initial shape in, and then I went ahead and got her cut out. And then finally put it all together with the straps. It took a minute to figure out the, how to do that. So there's the holster right there. Got the feather buckles on it. And the feather uh, buckle or belt ends, and a cool back plate there to hold everything together. And I got it dyed and uh, dyed a second time, and then the final wet forming was done there. Looks pretty good. And uh, the gun's in a plastic bag for the final wet forming there to keep to protect the firearm and it's done and on me just need to seal it up and it's good to go 